some call it floristic kingdoms. And North America, for instance, is in the Boreal, Boreal Kingdom. The smallest one of them is the Cape Floral Kingdom. Look at that. It is the smallest um, little floral kingdom of the rest. But do you know that there's eight and a half thousand species in that floral kingdom? That's more than any other two combined. So where, where the where, where the boreal kingdom? I, I'm not sure, but I think it's uh, it's around 700 or 750 different species. This one, eight and a half thousand species, oh yeah. mostly proteas, ericas, and restios. Those are the big flowers. Proteas, you will see like the yellow ones up on top there. The ericas are little, little small like heathers, and the reeds or restios are the ones that look like reeds, like like hedges or bulrushes or so. It's quite cool. You're in a very, very special place in the world right now. Making so Peter, tell us what we are about to do right now. We are about to go up one of the new wonders of the world, Table Mountain. Getting the cable car to take us a thousand meters or a kilometer up into the sky. And you said it's a new wonder of the world? Yeah, they had this competition, official new seven wonders of nature, where they had people all over the world vote on the internet. And there they are, the Amazon, Table Mountain, Komodo, Puerto Princess, and so on. There, there's a whole list of them up there. So it's the eighth wonder of the world. No, it's seven. It's one of the seven. <laughs> one of the seven. Okay, folks, we're about to go up Ooh. Table Mountain. I think world the world heritage. Sixty-five people can fit. Oh yeah. Wonders of the world. Mrs. Ross is telling us what. Tell us again. The World Heritage Here Foundation to... started a search for the new wonders of the world. Oh, the new wonders of the world. Seven new ones. There it is. It's coming down. It's coming down. We're going to get on it. It's a round one. And the floor circles 360 degrees around so that you have a panoramic view just by standing in one place on the cable car. Well, that, the sun might be bad on that one. You might want to shoot the one across the way. Yeah. There's one over in the This chain. is a chart of the new Seven Wonders of the World. So we're going to try looking at a better view over here. Yeah, they are. The new Seven Wonders of the World. This is a better picture because the other one's too many. Cable car is going up the mountain. I think ours is next. Going all the way up there. Do that again. Oh! <laughs> I'm really excited right now. It's like, I don't know, this has been like the high point ever since we found out we were going. The high point, no pun intended. Oh, uh, yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, our destination is up there. Everybody in? Yeah. Here we are on the cable car. Say hello, folks. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Table Mountain Eight Hill Cowboy. It's unfortunately too late to change your minds now. <laughs> but on a serious note, kindly do step away from the sides, let go over the handles. Floor beneath you is a part of the day. Thank you. Whee! Here we go. Oh, Come on. Yeah. Very fast, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maya, where are we going? Table, um, to the top of Table Mountain. To the top of Table Mountain, yes. Oh my god. Oh, we're going, 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 going so fast. Climbing. These guys are climbing. Yeah, I'll just see. This is Cape Town. 
Cape Town from up above. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? The bay? The table bay. Table bay. Table bay. This is so unique because the floor is oscillating or circling around, which means that we get a 360 view uh, just by standing still. about 85 degrees outside. Two things to you, to show you, and then we'll, uh, we'll carry on. Okay, the first thing that everybody wants to know is, what are those animals? Those are called dassies. See over there, on to your left? Oh, it's called a dassi, that's the Afrikaans word, D-A-S-S-I-E. Um, its official name is a rock hyrax. People call them a rock rabbit, but they're not part of the rabbit family at all. In fact, their closest relative, they believe, is the elephant. There's one right here. Wow. The elephant. Yeah, they look at the, at, the, at the skeleton structure and their teeth structure and so on, and they say these guys, this closest family right now on Earth is the elephant. Wow. wow. They have, what is interesting about them is they have built-in ray bands. Their major enemies are birds of prey. And birds of prey are, are, are clever. They always attack with a sud behind them. Ah. And these animals have developed, look how, how skillful they are. They've developed uh, to look straight into the sun without it damaging their eyes. All right, so down below this big bay that you have here is called Table Bay, as I said before. Over there you'll see an island. That is Robin Island. That is where Mr. Nelson Mandela was kept for 17 years of his life against his will. Uh, we will go there tomorrow morning. Um, you will have a tour of the island, then a tour of the of the actual um, prison. Um, the open flat area that you see over there on your right hand side, that is referred to as the Cape Flats. And as I said before, that used to be an internal sea. All right, that was all covered by sea. We came in from the airport from there yesterday. Um, the city bowl, as it's referred to down below, is surrounded by, by mountains. The first one here is Devil's Peak. Now, usually, uh, oh, let, let me tell the story quickly. There was this uh, sailor, a retired sailor by the name of, name of Van Hunk, who used to apparently climb up there and smoke his pipe. And one day, sitting up there smoking his pipe, he... Uh, he saw that there was this other guy also smoking a pipe. So in typical male fashion, they started competing. And they smoked and they smoked. And when Van Ang thought he couldn't take it anymore, just when he was about to give up, the other guy passed out, fell over. And as his hat fell off his head, he could see the two little horns. So Van Hunk realized he was actually smoking against the devil. <laughs> now, when, whenever cloud build-up starts here in Cape Town, it starts around Devil's Peak first. So if you want to know whether the mountain is going to be covered by a cloud at some point or the other, you look at Devil's Peak first, and the people of Cape Town will say, when they start seeing cloud building up, Ah, Van Hunk and the Devil are at it again today. <laughs> so that is Devil's Peak. This one, of course, Table Mountain, Lion's Head down below, and then Signal Hill, the one there with the little uh, trees on, every day at noon. They shoot the noonday gun here in Cape Town. Um, and everybody hits the deck except Cape Townians. They walk around with a little snigger on their faces. Um, you'll hear boom at 12 o'clock. It commemorates in the old days they used to um, fire the cannon when ships came into harbor to notify the farmers to actually bring their product. And it's relayed all the way out to Stellenbosch. There's actually a farm, a wineland there called Kanonkop meaning Cannon Mountain or Cannon Hill, uh, that relayed the message. Down below, you'll see that the highway makes like a Z, 
Can you see that? Mm -hmm. yes. Now just to the left of that Z, you'll see there's a yellow pentagon with green inside it. If you come towards the bottom part of the Z and you come left, you'll see a funny clover shaped sort of building. And then if you come left a little more, you'll see that pentagon. It's yellow. Yeah. You see it yet? Yes. All right. That is the Cape Castle. That's where we, where we were yesterday. In the middle here, you'll see that there's a sort of a rectangle of trees. You see that? Yeah. Beyond the two dams, you'll see there are two water reservoirs. Beyond them, there's a rectangle of trees. That is the company's garden. That's where you walked yesterday when you saw the, um, the squirrels. Uh, what else? That funny shaped uh, thing that you see way over there, that is the newest acquisition or add-on to Cape Town. That is the Cape Town um, Stadium. That was built for the 2010 World Cup and it's designed to look actually like the headgear or the hat of a Zulu woman. Over on the other side is um, that section on the other side of the mountain. That is called Sea Point. We'll be driving there tomorrow. And then you would have seen the beautiful beach down below as we came up. That is called um, Camps Bay Beach. I'll show that to you again when we get to the other side. What else? What else? What else? Uh, that obviously is the city center. And down in the harbor is where we will be spending time tomorrow afternoon uh, having lunch. Um, and that's also where the Robin Island excursion comes and goes from. Any more questions? Look at the hey, look at the water. The different blues. Oh, look, yeah, beautiful. That must be coral or something down there in the water. Yeah. So we can make just, David's going to take a picture Justice. of us. Okay. Yeah, we'll well, photo, well, when no, Justice no. comes here. That's right. We'll photo right. Family, family picture. Thanks, David. Good, David. Good for you. I was thinking about that, too. <laughs> oh, I missed that. <laughs> I'll take my sunglasses off. <laughs> up to you. Just keep pumped it up. This camera's sweet, Amy. Family picture. Got a little mountain in there. Justice, we're going to crop you in when you get here. <laughs> she's coming here. I know, she's coming here. Thank you, Amy. How about what I'm just Mandela observing? Yes, that's good. Hey, let me get a picture of the three of you. No. Oh, it's L-O-V. I saw the piece. Don't move, guys. Hey. One more time. Mrs. Neal had the camera video going. And exactly what is it that you're doing, ladies? Can you see the sign language? What's sign what are you doing, language? guys? That's what are you spelling? L that's spelled love. Wait well. a minute. Julia, don't move. One second. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Sign language for L O V E. Is that love this place, love these people, love this experience, right? Woo! Okay. There's Mr. Levine, our faithful photographer. <laughs> Tell us what you think. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's amazing. So many different views. Mountains, water. What could be better? And even very warm. Yes, it is. Very warm. <laughs> Okay. Island over, Robin okay. Island over there. Rambulate. Robin Island. Is that Robin Island to the right? Sure. I'll tell them All not right. to hold the bus if you don't make it. Definitely. Okay. But that's the lion's head and I can send her an email. Okay. And I mean, I look at the beautiful different there. colors of blue like, you know, and I in the ocean. Just beautiful. Agreed. We are 3,000 well, plus feet this. up in the above sea level. So that's the line. It just, you just push it until you can find how you can see because the sun's bothering you. Mm -hmm. 
This is a yep. very beautiful view of the mountains and the bays. These, these are volcanic mountains which made a bowl which surrounds Cape Town. Hi! We're waiting to go down in the cable car, Table Mountain, and this is Tara. What do you think, Tara? The view is really amazing, and it's just really exciting to see the whole city right down below your eyes. <laughs> You can't even I see this. Go <laughs> Going down. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. Your own safety guide to step away from the signs and go off all handrails as the cruise about to take in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The floor of this cable car revolves. So you can stand in one place and see a panoramic view. Oh, you It's back to the bus. What do you think, Mrs. Ross? I think it's beautiful. It was very lovely up there. It was. A few cute little animals. And it's a hot day. It is. That's another welcome thing for Buffalo Suzuki Strings. It's a hot day. Signing off for Table Mountain.